So what is going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and welcome to some Extinction Exodus gameplay from the Call of Duty Ghost Nemesis map pack. This is the final Extinction map that we're going to be getting for a real long time and this one is hopefully going to exit with a huge bang and I'm here to show you guys 10 minutes of gameplay footage for you guys of the new Extinction map and be going through a little bit of what this map offers and a few like tips and tricks to help you guys out. Now I've got loads and loads of Extinction Exodus videos uploading today including the final boss fight and the end cutscene so make sure you're checking my channel to keep updated with all of the Extinction goodness that will be happening today. I can't wait for you guys to see the reaction to the final boss and the end cutscene. I can't show you guys that in the gameplay but I don't want to spoil anything anyway and just show you guys a little preview of this extinction map. Do let me know in the comment section if you're excited for this map and if you are smash that like button for this awesome extinction gameplay. What's different to this map compared to the others is it's the first one where you don't have a drill with you. Now uh, the extinction team said that they felt like the drill was like a fifth uh, team member because it was like a chore to carry rounds and I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree here that it was a real pain to carry around the drill as it was like such a huge effort so in this map instead instead of drills there are f I believe it's five generators which you have to go around and activate now what's different to this map compared to the other extinction maps is that this one allows a much more bigger freedom and choice of which routes you want to take we saw in the spawn area there there was three different doors that we could open the left side the front side or the right side and we chose to go through the front and uh, if you guys uh, recognize this kind of scenery and layout well we're kind of in you're kind of taking a bit from the uh, multiplayer map flooded and uh, brought us brought that into the map so the storyline for this map is that following the CIF units harrowing escape from the alien underworld and the successful recovery of Dr. Cross and the Cortex and Awakening the team has flown in to fight off the cryptid army siege of the last bastion of human resistance our mission in this map is to get key personnel to safety by restoring power to the shuttle and launching the shuttle to a low earth orbit space station since this is the last extinction map, we have a platoon of different aliens that we have to fight against, including scorpions, rhinos, mammoths, every sort of cryptid that we've had so far. But we also have a brand new one, which we saw towards the end of Awakening, and that is the Ancestor. Now, in Awakening, we didn't really see the Ancestor have a huge role. We did see a, a ton of Ancestors in a cryogenic sleep in these pods but they didn't actually do anything and we thought they were going to be absolutely menacing seeing as in the uh, ending of May Day it seemed like they had a huge impact on the map but in fact they didn't but this time around they do and they're actually a very very hard boss they're actually sort of like a mini boss that will uh, just randomly appear during certain generators so it's kind of a big big surprise and the best way to tackle these is with the new weapon that you can craft but I won't show you that in this video what I'll do is I'll have a separate video on the weapon specifically on my channel so make sure you're checking that to see some gameplay of that but that is the most efficient way to take down the ancestor now from my first impressions of this map it kind of felt very similar to a zombies map and the kind of discovery uh, which I really really enjoyed and uh, if you want my honest opinion I think this is one of the strongest extinction maps we've ever gotten definitely a lot better than awakening because that just felt like a real chore and the addition of the uh, griffin that you had to fly around basically made it feel like that was only there just to add length to the map and this map's actually not the longest map either it's actually pretty short but it doesn't feel like a long task at all and uh, you you find that when you when you complete generators you open yourself up into a new area and it will be like a totally new huge area for you to go and explore and it never feel like uh, that you're doing anything that seems to be a bit of a chore. Now for those that love armory upgrades and collecting teeth, there is a few new armory upgrades and I won't show you in this video, but I'll just tell you a few of them which are absolutely crazy and one of them involves being able to buy the ability to have a double class. You could essentially be running a, like for instance a tank and a weapon specialist class at the same time, which is insane. Now these cost uh, a lot of teeth like that that uh, singular armory upgrade costs a thousand teeth and you're probably thinking that's absolutely crazy but I've been told that in this map you earn teeth a lot faster than you would in any other map simply because it's the last map and you guys want to try and unlock those armory upgrades as quick as possible so they've made it a little more easier for you to get teeth so that is something to keep in mind 
Now I have to say that this is probably one of the most grungier extinction maps that we have in terms of detail. It looks very, very cool. Uh, and the atmosphere you get on this map as well it definitely matches the art style. We have this kind of gloomy, uh, grungy looking area and it kind of matches the whole kind of uh, feeling that the characters and the storyline have at this point in time as this is literally it. This is the final bit. Now let's talk a little bit more about the Ancestor. So I mentioned earlier that it will appear on a random generator and what will actually happen is you'll notice an icon on screen and that will be the uh, Ancestor as it slowly makes its way into the map. It's really creepy in fact how it works. It floats in midair and it very slowly makes its way from outside the map into the map into your area. If you're indoors then what will happen is it will slowly make its way to a crack in the wall and it will look at you through that crack and it will shoot like this dark like black hole energy towards you that will really really do damage and if you're close enough to it or if just that random way it'll, you catch yourself looking at it, it might actually throw you up into the air, which is absolutely frightening as there's literally nothing you can do whilst you're being held up into the air. Now you'll notice that as the ancestors come in, he's got a little icon which actually is its health bar and you can take it down. But occasionally the ancestor will have its bubble shield over it where it's temporarily invulnerable to attack. So there's nothing you can do besides avoiding its black hole. Now a big tip I'll give to anyone when an ancestor is appearing during a generator. Make sure that you have half your team focus on the ancestor while the other actually looks after the generator. Because we had times where we were too fully focused on trying to kill the ancestor that we actually didn't realize the generator was being attacked. And of course the generator's health went down to zero and it was game over. As for buildables in this map, we have the new weapon, which I will have in a separate video for you guys. But we also have, uh, I believe it's a variation of that weapon, which is in the form of grenades. Now, the only thing that I'd say that sucks about having uh, a, a really powerful weapon in Extinction in the form of grenades is that the grenades don't come back once you've used them. Like, there's no way to replenish those grenades. You have to craft them every single time. But as per all buildables in Extinction, you don't have to pick up specific locations where there's buildable items. If you find any chest or uh, toolbox around the map once you've picked up a schematic for these new items, you can build that with any sort of item that you find around the map. Now I don't know if you can tell by the gameplay, but I'm not using like my preferred loadout and I'm sure you guys will be like, why the hell are you using that? But we're playing on like really fresh accounts which aren't the highest level in Extinction so we don't have everything unlocked but what we found worked best to uh, protect the generators and of course this goes for uh, most Extinction maps but do drop an IMS down it's actually so useful especially when you're getting attacked by the Ancestor just drop an IMS down by the generator because if you need the focus from all your team to be on that Ancestor you can at least know that you've got some sort of protection with the IMS but I'm sure if you guys are at the level where you can put down a sentry gun turret which is an automatic one then that will do the deal just as well but like I said at the start of the video I've got so many more extinction videos to come out today I'm only allowed to show you 10 minutes of gameplay before the map pack releases so you might be watching this beforehand or you might be watching this after the map packs release and you just want a little bit of gameplay to see how the map looks but I'll be uploading so many more videos including the final boss battle including the end cutscene and we're going to be analyzing that and just getting a huge discussion and I can't wait for you guys to see it so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button if you're excited for this new extinction map and leave you guys with some extinction exodus gameplay a pulse that can melt the brain of every cryptic within a three mile radius we build a prototype but the weapon is useless without a power source that's why we need the cortex it's just a